Good morning! Uh, day three after surgery. I guess it would like surgery would be day one. Then day two is yesterday, and today's Sunday, day three. I feel pretty good. There's still like a lot of pain going on down there. Feels like really bad gas still. But I was able to like move around a lot more this morning. I made a smoothie for breakfast. I was able to, to stand over there and make the smoothie and everything like that. And then when uh, Jen was making breakfast with Jackson, we had a little incident, right, buddy? We lost an egg down the drain, and Jackson's very upset about that, right? Do you want the egg back? Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to get a new egg from the grocery store, right? Well, that one's gone, buddy. I'm sorry. It went to the water treatment plant. So, that's what we're, uh, that's what's happening this morning. Jackson's a little upset that we lost the egg. Uh, so even though I am moving around a little bit better today, I'd still say that I'm probably about, like, 60, 50% of 100. So I am still going to like spend the day relaxing today. We are gonna have, we're gonna have groceries delivered because the doctor said I'm not allowed to drive until Monday. So we need to get groceries today and then just a lot more of me hiding, not hiding, but like sitting in my little corner of the couch over there watching Secrets of Sulphur Springs, which I was very upset that they recast Topher in the second season because I like the care, I like the person that played Topher in the first season better than the person that's playing Topher in the second season. But I don't know what happened. Maybe he like got a, a better acting gig somewhere, so they hired a new kid. But yeah, that's where we're at today. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Can I look, can I film you? Uh -huh. What do you see? Show daddy. Say hi daddy. Hi daddy. Hi Jackson. <laughs> say, say, how, no, are you showing your train? Oh yeah, show everybody your train. Very good. There it comes again. Get it coming around the corner. Whoa. Very good, Jackson. Show yourself eating ice cream. Show that picture of you eating ice cream. Look at that. Oh look, that's you and mommy's belly. That's what what you other pictures like. do you see? That's us in Hawaii. And that's you with Donald and Daisy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'll bring it back over here. What's that one? That's the, the record? No. Is that the bluey record? Okay, bring it back over here. <laughs> Push the red button again. So a few things we did this morning is we got our grocery list together. So that was exciting. And then uh, we'll have groceries soon, so that's exciting. And we also are playing the Greedy Granny game, right buddy? No, her eyes are closed, see? Oh. I don't, we've played this in a, in a vlog before, but this was something that this company actually mailed th this game out to us, this Goliath Games company. And I thought it was such a strange game, but Jackson loves it. So basically what you do is you, you put grandma in her chair. Oh wait, you gotta put her teeth in. Yeah. Put grandma's teeth in. All right, so after we get her teeth in, she's sleeping in her chair, and then we have to, I don't know if you're supposed to put snacks on her tray, or if you're supposed to. And you, oh, you gotta take them, okay. So then you gotta spin this, and that tells you how many snacks you have to try to take off of her tray. So, should we spin it, bud? And then you have to push the button. Will you spin it, please? Okay, so it says to take one snack and then push the button. No, just once, just once. You wanna keep pushing it until she wakes up? Whoa! So then she opens her eyes, she wakes up, opens her eyes, and loses her teeth. What happened to her teeth? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we gotta close her eyes. So, something that happened... You wanna close her eyes? Something that happened, though, is that I didn't have her pushed all the way down when I was, like, putting the, uh, the game together. So her, her eyes wouldn't close. And it was kind of creepy because she's just laying there like this. 
with her eyes open <laughs> again. <laughs> and he kept saying she okay. died. So a couple weeks ago, we were taking a walk around the neighborhood and we saw a worm on the sidewalk and the worm was dead and there were like ants eating it. And he's like, what happened to the, what's wrong with the worm? And I said, well, the worm died. And so then he was like obsessed with that, with that word because he didn't understand what it meant, I think. <laughs> So then everything died. died. He's like, the battery died, the light died, the the lady, the grandma on the game because her eyes wouldn't close, she died. Like it was just, it's just interesting what kids latch onto and what they, I don't know, does that make sense? Like it's just interesting that he kind of like, because he didn't understand it, he just like kept saying it and saying it and saying it. So I don't know, I just thought that was an interesting thing that happened. But our greedy granny didn't die, she just wasn't pushed in all the way. <laughs> so good news. She didn't die. The worm died. Oh, the worm did die. Yeah, the worm was dead. You're right. So the guy. So the guy. You want to play the greedy granny game? So the guy. Worm is dead. The worm. Oh, you showed the guy that the worm was dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh you got to put her teeth in. I forgot the. Good job. All right, now let's t now let's spin. Okay, you need to take three snacks. Take three snacks off her tray. One. Okay. Now push the button three times. And just three times. Only three. Only three. Only three times here. Only three times. Okay, now I'm gonna take one snack and I'm gonna push it. Whoa! <laughs> you that one yeah. yeah. What what came out? Did her teeth come out? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Granny's teeth came out. I like that she has purple Again. hair too. Again. Again, we love this game. So it has been some time later. It is like six o'clock right now. Um, I'm about to make dinner, but before I do that, I actually like I pulled something in my back earlier, which is the worst possible time that this could have happened because Tim is like really out of commission. So I definitely need to be like fully in commission <laughs> and my back hurts so, so bad. I think I just like overdid it yesterday somehow. I'm not, not really sure. Actually, I think what happened was is when I was editing that really long Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser video, I was literally sitting for like 12 hours in the same position editing and I think that really messed up my back. So um, I've been trying to keep like, I've been trying to take it a little bit easier today so that it can hopefully feel better um, soon. So I am actually, or earlier today, Tim was resting and while he was resting and while Jackson was taking his nap, I actually napped for a little bit just to try to like feel a little bit better. But now I'm getting ready to make dinner. But before I do that, the other day when Tim was at the Star Cruiser, I was here with Jackson and we did some fun stuff. So Lynn was here, we went to the park, we, um, it was just kind of like the three of us just kind of hung out all day. So I'm gonna insert that footage right now. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, it's almost the end of the week. We have some fun stuff planned for today. Jackson doesn't know it, but we're going to one of his favorite places right now. So let's jump in the car and go. All right, here we are. You wanna get in? Should we do it? Let me see how hot it is. It's pretty warm today. Hmm, this one might, I might have to cool this one off. Maybe I'll sit in it really quick so we can cool it off, bud. What do you think? You wanna do the seesaw? We can do the seesaw, let's do it. So we actually stopped at a park that Jackson really loves, but before we got to this park, we were at another park in the neighborhood that um, I, we've never actually been to that one and it was geared more towards older kids. So he wasn't able to use the like the slides. The slide was so tall, it looked really cool but it was like way too tall for him. He was too scared to um, go down it. And most of the other stuff was just too tall. It was not geared towards his age range, but there was a little girl there and he got to play with somebody his own age and it was so cute. So they were just really cute together. They had those like big cement, you'll see them in like City Works projects where they do, I don't know, like those big pipes that go underground. Well, they had those and then they did like a, a hill around it. So it was like this little secret tunnel, like a short one through this little like mound of, 
grass basically, like a, a man-made hill. And they were going in the secret tunnel. It was the cutest thing. It was so, so cute to see him. And the little girl was so excited. So um, the, the, I think she was with her babysitter and she said, there's never any kids here. She never gets to play with any kids. And I said, well, Jackson never gets to play with any kids either. So they got to play together and it was just really cute to see their like excitement. So that was a really fun thing for, you know, this morning, that was awesome. And now, oh no, you have the hiccups, bud. Do you need some water? What do you think? Yeah? Are you gonna go down the slide? Let me see this little buddy go down the slide. Let me see him. Whoa. Good job. I'm always afraid to grab your hand because I always shock you. Can you sit down on your butt and get down? Okay, thank you. I just don't wanna shock you, bud. Nice work, let's go get some water. So they also have not only the like cool swing, which he loves, but they also have this one that you sit on just kind of like, uh, you just kind of sit your butt on it and then you hold on. And he really, really wants to do this one, but he's just not big enough. <laughs> we tried it though. What do you think? There it goes. Wow, that was cool. You wanna go down the slide again? He has the, he was so excited he got the hiccups. All right, so this one we can do because we're more, we're more in the, uh, like more secure. Okay, you ready, bud? All right, let's go. Whoa! And now you're going backwards. I have to show this video to daddy. Whoa! Was that one a little too tall? We tried it though. Good job trying it. Jump, whoa. Nice work. Let's see, we found the drums. Wow. And then the secret tunnel. And there it is. Are you gonna go down the slide or you're playing the other music notes? So this one seems to be like music themed. I want that. That was another kid. You looking for him? <laughs> what, you look like a kid from the 80s. Are you gonna come down the slide? Let's see this little buddy come down the slide. No, no, that way though. That way? You did it! Good job! All right, now we're doing the seesaw. Is this on that side? Me sit on that side? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Whoa! Now we're all on it, buddy. What do you think? <laughs> Is that cool? I think that was a pretty successful day. What do you think? Yeah, we were at the park for like an hour and a half and now it's getting pretty sunny. So it's definitely um, getting pretty hot, which is pretty wild because it was literally like 30 degrees last week. And now it's it feels like it's in the high 80s to me. Uh, it's probably like more like 80, but it's very warm, very sunny. So we're gonna head back have some lunch, cool off, have a little nap. Don't tell Jackson. <laughs> All right, so we are back home from the park. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna make this. We found this vegan mac and cheese. I actually got this for Tim when he had his wisdom teeth out and we needed like soft stuff. And uh, he wanted to try this. So we found this, it's an under the sea. It's really for kids, but it's the, the shapes of the pasta are really cute. It's like stars and I don't know what those other things are. Fish maybe? Definitely stars, for sure. Oh, seahorse. What? How are you gonna see that? That's kind of hard, that's a hard one to see. Okay, they're almost ready though. So this actually calls for almond milk, but I only have oat milk. So we're just gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. And then I don't have any vegan butter either, so this really isn't gonna be a vegan mac and cheese. It's gonna be just kind of what I have. But the actual cheese packet will be vegan, so. We're gonna mix, let, let this melt, and then we'll add our vegan cheese packet. Kind of smells like cheddar popcorn. It's not super thick either, so hopefully it thickens up a little bit before I put my pasta in. Hmm, hopefully it should be okay. At least the pasta looks nice. Okay, so I added my pasta in. Oh, it looks okay. It doesn't look bad. We'll see how the oat milk um, 
taste than this. I think the real butter is probably really gonna help too. But let's see, I'm gonna give Jackson some and see what he thinks. And then I grabbed out some of the pasta because I wanted to show you the shapes. What is that supposed to be? Is that the fish or is that the seahorse? And then there's also this one. I think these are like interpretive. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that a fish? What do you think? You like it? I think it's a hit. He seems to be eating it. <laughs> I put some of the spicy salt that we got from Hawaii in it and it was actually really nice. This stuff is amazing. I think when I run out of this, I'm gonna try to find it somewhere because I really, really like it. But this isn't so bad. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty okay. I definitely think regular mac and cheese is still my favorite, but it's not bad, you know? All right, welcome back. How fun was that? <laughs> it was a pretty low key day as well, but we had a lot of fun. So now I'm going to make some dinner. All right, Jackson, what are you having for dinner? What is this, buddy? Say, mommy made you some pasta with veggie sauce. He's watching Mr. Monkey Jocks right now. Can't I think this one has the best music. I like this song. I wish this was on the record that we I got. This is season two, that's season one, so. Oh yeah, so I don't know if we've actually ever showed you this, but we got the Bluey album. This is the B-side. It has the song from The Weeknd, The Wagon Ride, Camping, Fruit Bat, The Creek, which is honestly my favorite. The Creek is beautiful, that one is my favorite. Um, and then the I Know A Place, The Creek song, is so, so good. It's by Helena, I can't pronounce her last name, and Jazz Darcy. And then of course it has a bluey theme song. Then there's a side A as well, but this was a really good purchase. So Fruit Bats is my favorite song on that album. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, good. okay. So let me show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so I actually already made these dumplings. These were, I found these in the fridge section by the produce and they're actually, they're vegan dumplings. Here is the front of the packaging. So they're from Nasoya is the brand and they are organic and vegan Thai basil vegetable dumplings. And they look like that. It took literally six minutes to make. And then I made a dipping sauce with just the chili garlic sauce, soy sauce, sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, and I added like the teeniest bit of hoisin and some sugar, and it's really good. Like it actually turned out really nice, so I'm excited to eat these. So here's what the inside looks like. It has veggies, but I think it also has some tofu in there. I've been trying to limit the amount of tofu that we're eating because we've been doing that vegan box. A lot of it has like tofu. Yeah. But these just looked really good, so I had to try these. So let's see how they taste. It's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. I like the sauce too. I don't have a recipe for it, I just kind of Take, like did it, it Yeah, I was winging it, just kind of tasting it as I went. But I really like it. Good. It's kind of mixed all of the things that I had. Well, I'll be honest, because it's vegan and there's like tofu in there, mm -hmm. it kind of tastes like a a pastry more than a dumpling. Like the, the filling is almost bready. Oh, uh, okay. You know? What do you think, bud? You like your pasta for dinner? <laughs> He's like in the bluey. You know, he loves it. That's like, he's watched these episodes like 97 million times. Yeah. But I'm Random. excited for the new season to come out one day. Oh, it'll happen one day. Here's what I think. My conspiracy about bluey is that it, so it came out on September of last year, September 2021. Okay. But I think that it has what, like 20 something episodes? 50. Oh, 50 episodes. I think we have to wait for all of them to air in Australia for them to put them on Disney Plus because it all comes out as one season. How do they air? I don't know. Do they air one episode at a time? Or I'm... do they air two episodes? They're only seven minute long. Oh yeah, I don't know. That's a good right? question. How long is this episode? This episode is, is literally seven, eight minutes long. Yeah, if anybody's from Australia or, or actually gets like bluey in real time, you know, from your actual cable or whatever, let us know. How does it air? So, so as I've been sitting over in my little corner of the couch over here, I've been like watching Disney Plus really for the most part. Like I said, I watched Secrets of Sulphur Springs. Then I also watched Free Guy, which actually turned out to be a really good movie. Like it was, it was pretty decent. I liked the big surprise at the end where Disney was like, or Fox, I guess, I don't know, whoever owns that was like, oh, we can use Disney stuff now. And they're like, we're using all of it. And so, <laughs> I don't know, it was good. And I liked all of the, the cameos from different people in it. There weren't a lot but there were more people in that movie than I thought were in that movie. Like uh, Taika Waititi is in it, and Chris Evans is in it, and who's the other one? Magic Mike, who's that guy? Who played Magic Mike? That guy, he's in it. But yeah, turned out to be a pretty good movie. Uh, as you all know, I'm like, I'm pretty much in this corner for the most part. I, I think I will start like, start to venture out on Monday, maybe not. We'll see how it goes tomorrow, which is Monday. 
let me know if there are any other movies that are on like Disney Plus or Hulu or Netflix or anything like that that you guys think I should watch that are really good. I like horror movies. I like uh, science fiction movies. I like m movies about real events. They're very good. So, um, you know, and I just like seeing movies in general. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me in the or in the comment section down below. Oh, oh, I also wanted to say earlier Jen said that her back was hurting from editing all night. And if you guys haven't seen that video, please go and watch it. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Jen put so much work into it and she did such a good job. And I don't know, I'm just proud of her. She's she's doing fantastic. Like I know that her back's hurting her and I'm like, I'm no help. But I am I'm, I'm she's helping out a lot right now. And I'm very thankful for her. So thank you, Jen. And I know you're editing this right now. So thank you. I love you. Um, you're letting me sit in my little corner here and watch Free Guy the movie while my, my tummy heals. And and I do have to admit, I do miss being able to help out. But I can't do any of that stuff right now. I can't lift Jackson. I don't know when I'll be able to lift Jackson. I have to read through the paperwork and see when that'll be. I do know that I can't go swimming for 21 days. Where are we going? We're going to the kitchen. We want to brush our teeth in the kitchen. Yeah, so I don't know when I'll be able to get back to helping out with that sort of thing. I'll find out. I'm going to read the paperwork. Hey, buddy. Are you ready for bed? Okay, that's how we know he's really tired when he says the ABCs. <laughs> but only when he says them like that. You gotta watch out. I can't let you go climb on daddy right now. Okay. You can climb a little bit on daddy. Just not close to my belly button. So earlier earlier in this home vlog, we talked about how my 40th birthday is coming up and I didn't ever think my younger self, if I went to my younger self and I was like, guess what you're doing on your 40th birthday? You're gonna be laid out after hernia surgery. I'd be like, what are you talking about? How, why? Like, why'd you plan that near your birthday, Tim? Well, how did you even get the hernias? I don't know. So, okay, so here's here's the, the moment that I knew that I had a hernia was, and this is the most bizarre thing. So you all know that I had COVID for a while. When I had COVID, I didn't cough. Okay, wait, stop, reverse that, rewind. Go all the way back to 2019. I went to the day, to, no, maybe 2020. Went to the Daytona 500 in February on Valentine's Day, February 14th. But thousands upon thousands of people were there. This is right before COVID. Right officially. before COVID was a thing. Right. Uh, went to the Daytona 500, came back, was sick, coughing constantly. But nobody else around me got sick. And I went to the doctor and they're like, we think it's just bronchitis or something like that. And so I got um, antibiotics for it. But the cough stuck around for a long time. Yeah. Fast forward two years later, I got COVID. But then I didn't cough the entire time that I had COVID, but that cough from the Daytona 500 would like show up every once in a while. Like once a week I would have a cough. But then when I had COVID, I didn't cough. But as you guys know, I was riding the bike a lot. And then I got better from COVID and I got back on the bike and I coughed on the bike and I felt this like, and I was like, what was that? And then I was like, well, that's not good. And then I started to like, so you could see it, like you could see it. And then uh, I could feel it too. And so I was like, well, and I looked it up and on the internet, things are like, a lot of people don't even realize that they have hernias. Uh, people will go 10 years without surgery. And I was like, well, I don't want to be, I don't want to do that. I want to get taken care of sooner than later. But I was like, I should go to a doctor and have somebody like look at this. And when I went to the doctor, he's like, well, yeah, that one's obvious because you can see it. And he's like, let me check this other side. And he's like, cough, like turn your head and cough type thing. And he's like, oh yeah, there's one over here too. We'll just fix them both. You want to do it in like three days? You want to have surgery in three days? And I was like, no, I can't do that. And so the next available time after the amazing race was on the 25th when I had it done. And so I was like, I just need to make it through amazing race first. Then I can do this surgery. And it's strange to me that like the hernias weren't that bad. Like I was able to do amazing race. I was able to like move the couches around it. They weren't hurting me, but like, the surgery hurt me, but I know that like eventually the hernias would have gotten bad to like actually hurt me. So it was better to get them taken care of sooner than later. But like, it's strange to me. It's, it's a strange thing to get over the fact that like, I was fine. Like I could walk around, I could do exercise on the bike. I could like do anything that I wanted to with the hernias. But now that I've had the surgery, I'm like laid out on the couch for a while. 
That's that's strange to me. Anyways, long story short, I am uh, turning 40 soon, and I didn't <laughs> think that I was going to be laid out on the couch as a as a 40 year old. Is that what it's like getting older, kids? So uh, it's getting late. I ended up watching the Saturday Night Live from the other day, uh, from Saturday. It's pretty good. John Mulaney, he's an old Saturday Night Live writer, so it makes sense that he's a good host. Uh, LCD sound system was strange. Not my favorite. Like, I feel like I would have picked better songs for Saturday Night Live. Because I think they do have songs that translate well to that sort of environment. The ones that they picked, I don't think did. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on here and say I'm going to bed. But I did also want to say that at least my teeth don't hurt anymore. Right? This is a silver lining right there. Teeth don't hurt. My tummy does. But it's getting better. Hopefully, you know, tomorrow's Monday. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'm supposed to be able to drive tomorrow. I'm sure. Why not? We'll see how I feel when I wake up in the morning. So all in all, it was a fantastic day, for the most part. A lot of like sitting around, just resting. It was a very enjoyable weekend of resting. Thank you guys for letting me have this time to like recuperate from surgery. And like I said, leave me some suggestions for movies and stuff like that to watch. So next week, Jen is going to do some vlogging, I think. While I just kind of like chill at home, depending on how I feel. If I feel great, we'll go out and about. We'll all go out. But like as of right now, I'm not like in the, the walking around mood. Like I can walk around just fine, but I feel like if I like really walked like I used to walk, I'd be in a lot of pain by the end of the day. So uh, yeah, it was a great day. So with that being said, we're off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.